Barely a two decades ago, the 3D printers were hawking expensive machines, reserved for factories, corporations and the small circles of professionals. Recently, 3D printers come in a variety of styles, optimized for different applications and kinds of printing. In today's video, we're going to be focused on Tina 2, an entry-level, compact desktop 3D printer, which will get you started if 3D printing is new to you. Welcome back, this is Adam, and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Weedo Tina 2 compact 3D printer arrived in plain box plastered with Weedo company branding. The first thing you will find is the accessories such as the power lead, one spool of PLA filament, a spare extruder nozzle with tools, micro SD card with some basic 3D slicing software called Wii Builder, as well as some test 3D models which are ready to be printed out. The Tina 2 3D printer itself has a compact size and it's built from hard molded plastic which feels of decent quality. The top of the printer is covered apart from the little gap for the PTFE tube to move with the extruder. This to be plugged to the nozzle at the side of the printer. At the top we also got an LCD display, an illuminated dial for data entry. I will load the PLA filament and start heating the extruder to around 200 degrees of Celsius. Now I will insert the SD card which contains a few test prints. These are labelled with the timings, which is handy. Let's pick a butterfly. Let's see how it goes. After selecting the file, the display shows you settings for the print, such as density, layer, height and temperature. Click print and the Weedo Tina 2 goes through its automatic bed levelling. It has a little proxy sensor next to the extruder, so the printer knows the position of the magnetic bed and the extruder won't go any lower than the bed. After around 20 minutes the print completes, the extruder moves to the top and the bed moves out to the front. The print is ready to be picked. Now let's try something more fancy. I found a free 3D model of a Viking mug. Most of the 3D models are saved in STL files. STL is a file format commonly used for 3D printing and computer aided design. STL is an acronym that stands for Stereolithography, a popular 3D printing technology. You might also hear it is referred to as a standard triangle language or standard tessellation language. Before the 3D model can be loaded into Tina 2 printer, it has to be sliced and converted into a G-code, which is nothing more than a programming language used to control a CNC machines and 3D printers. To convert your 3D model into G-code, I recommend to use Wii Builder app, which is included on the SD card which comes with the printer and can be installed on PC or Mac. Slicing translates CAD drawing into a G-code, which a 3D printer can read. Now the Viking mug is ready to be printed. Let's jog into the Viking mug and press print. G-code is written in a straightforward, logical way. A G is followed by a number which is a command to change geometry. For instance, G00 is a command for rapid movement. I've been programming CNC machines in the past, so I got some experience in this field. Once you got the app installed, load the model, scale it to the size suitable to be used in Tina 2, pick the PLA material and speed and quality of a printer and slice the model into the layers. Here we go, a nice tiny Viking mug with a very visible Assassin's Creed Valhalla logo at the side. It took around 35 minutes total to print this little thing. 
I also tested more complex model, which is an Eiffel Tower. I scaled it down massively just to see how the extruder of Tina 2 would handle such a tiny little lines and shapes. The G-code we've just created, telling the printer where to extrude the filament material layer by layer. As I mentioned earlier, G-code is a language that humans use to tell a machine how to do something. With 3D printing, G-code contains commands to move parts within the printer. G-code consists of G and M commands that have an assigned movement or action, as well as E values. In order to extrude, the G-code must have E values. They are what differentiate a travel movement from an extrusion movement. Overall, the Tina 2 is a nice compact 3D printer that produces good quality prints, albeit limited to its small build volume. With auto bed leveling, this is a great for just pressing print and leaving it to do its thing. It is a bit noisy and if it had a silent stepper drivers that would be a big plus for this printer. It would make a great gift for kids that have an interest in 3D printing for sure. Another great thing about the Tina 2 printer, it runs on the open source software, same as the larger, more advanced printers use. That way you won't have to relearn things when upgrading in the future if you decide to. The auto bed leveling is amazing on the printer of this price. Manual bed leveling is the hardest thing to get right when starting with 3D printing. Without a heated bed, it won't be able to print high temperatures filaments like ABS or PEDG, but it prints PLA and TPU great. And most people use PLA for about 90% of prints anyways. The Tina 2 3D printer is available on Amazon for under 150 American dollars or 150 British pounds, as well as under 150 euros, which is a great price for such well-designed device, which produces great quality prints. If you want to check it out, there are Amazon affiliate links in this video description. Okay guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week. That was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel. I'm going to